Hello, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTB. We're going to make these AR family star clusters today. We're going to use Keynote and Reality Composer, um, and we'll walk you through the steps. So this is a great idea for kind of keeping stories alive and, and memories of uh, family members that are maybe a past. So I'm going to base mine on my grandmother, Sheila. Um, you can see here, and so I knew her when she was alive, so I kind of know the qualities, but it's a good opportunity for students to actually think about and maybe interview family members about people that are past that they never even met. Now, you could do it with family pets as well. Um, so many possibilities. What kind of qualities do they have? Um, for my grandma, she was very outspoken and strong, kind of the leader in the family. So I'm going to look for a keynote shape that I'm going to base my star cluster on my grandmother. And it's going to be a lioness. So she was kind of the matriarch of the family, um, very strong. So if I go up here to my keynote shapes uh, and I type in lion, um, I'm going to get that beautiful graphic. So this is going to be the basis of our star cluster that we're going to bring into Reality Composer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on my... Oh, sorry. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this white. So um, what I really need to do is I need to make my background of my keynote shape like a gray color because I'm not going to be able to see it on the white. So what I'm going to do is I'll go up to my paintbrush and change the background just to a kind of a dark grayish because I want to be able to see the white outline. So let's go, yeah, that kind of gray is a good color. So I'm going to tap on my line S or my line. Um, and I'm going to go up to my paintbrush and I'm going to do a no fill but I'm going to have a border on it. Um, so that will give me kind of the outline, but it won't give me the actual fill in the middle. So here I've got my pointer uh, working now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on my line. I'm going to go up to my paintbrush and I'm going to go to style and do a no fill. So that's going to give us that nice outline. So we'll go up here. We'll go down to fill and we'll make it a no fill. So it's just going to be the background itself. And then we'll go back to style and turn on the border. And we're going to make the border a white color and probably increase the width a little bit. I'm also going to change the style to like um, dots. That will give me that impression of stars. So let's up the width a little bit because we really want this standing out within our kind of our portal that we create later or bring in. We'll make it dots. That's going to give us that beautiful outline and give us that kind of star feel to it. And we'll just play around with the width. Sometimes if you make them too big, you're going to lose a little bit of the uh, detail in the lines themselves. So this is looking pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our photos into a preview screen or a split screen because I want to drag that. So if I just raise it slightly by a couple of centimeters and bring up my recents, I'm going to drag up my photos app in a preview screen just like this. And then I'm going to do a long press on the outline of my line S, a long press so it pops out and I can drag the outline directly to make an image file into my photos. Now, if you haven't done this a while, kind of count to three and you should get that little plus. See that little plus on the right hand side there? You should get that as you drag it in. Now, you can't see it because it's white, but um, trust me, it has gone there. So that's the keynote element of it. And uh, we're now going to look at how we can do the augmented reality component. So we're going to jump into Reality Composer. So let's do a search for uh, Reality Composer. Oh, that's kind of what we're going to create. I'll show you how to get this uh, kind of portal, this kind of earth portal that we're going to place our stars inside it. And we're going to do a little animation on the stars themselves as well, which is going to be super cool. So let's go up to our plus. We're going to create uh, a brand new reality composer. We're going to go with the horizontal. And we are going to, once again, we are going to bring in our um, outline of our line. So I'm going to drag up slightly from the bottom once again and bring up my photos. Just on a preview screen. And I'm going to drag the white one over. Now you can't see it, but when I drag, I'm going to do a long press. Wait for it to pop drag over, you should get that plus. See that plus there? That means it's there. And we're going to drag that and drop that into Reality Composer. There it is there. Now it's flat and it's horizontal. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap it and move it around. So if we tap on it once, we get 
our beautiful little arrows and we're going to drag the arrow up to raise it. And then if we look on the side of it, see this red, if we drag the red, we can actually make it go vertical, which is what we want. Oh, that's looking really good. So we're going to place that. We'll move it around a little bit so that it's in the middle of our screen where the circle is. And that's the basis of our stars. That's kind of like the outline. So all we need to do now is bring in some 3D stars and they're found in the basic section. So if we go up to the plus and we go down to the basic shapes, a little bit further down, you'll see a star. And so all we need to do is bring in some different stars. I'm going to keep them like a glossy white because they're going to stand out. Don't forget, this is going to go on a black background. So they're going to really stand out if they're white or as light color as possible. And just like our lioness, we're going to drag up the green cone, use our finger and drag that up. We're going to kind of navigate to the side and rotate our stars. And if we want to make them a little bit smaller, we can go up to our properties. Once we've got them in the in a good position, these, these are our properties here. And we can make them a little bit smaller as well, just so that we can kind of base it around. Now, we don't have to put a star on every single dot but it's just going to be the outline. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to make the outline flash on and off, like so that we can see the star cluster, but we want like a basis of about four, five, six, seven stars. We would like them kind of strategically placed. So it kind of gives the impression of the lioness, even though we can't see the outline. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to tap on each star and I'm going to duplicate it. That way I kind of get similar stars and I can I don't have to bring in and resize each one. So a little bit of a tip from me, tap on the star, duplicate it, and then you can start to place it around. Now, if you're finding this really difficult with the movement and moving around Reality Composer and you've never been in it before, I'm going to give you some tutorials um, that you can actually get to know Reality Composer and the basics a little bit better. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you the Padlet where you can actually learn a little bit more about Reality Composer if you're struggling with moving things around and it's a little bit overwhelming for you. So I'm just kind of positioning um, some of these stars. Uh, by the way, um, I've kind of got them all on an axis at the moment. They're all kind of really boring, you can see there. And what I can do is I can press them and move them out towards me a little bit to show some depth because I can maybe go the other way with some of the stars. I might actually get a couple of the stars and make them a little bit bigger to make it more realistic for a, a star cluster. They're not all the same size like that. And we can start to position them around, which is super cool. So we've got a flat image, which is our outline, a 2D shape. And then we've got a whole lot of 3D stars, which is looking really great. Don't forget, you can do this for your own kind of uh, visual representation of a loved one that's passed or a pet that's passed as well. So now we're gonna go into our behaviors. So next to our properties, we're gonna go down to our behaviors. There's the behavior um, tools there. And we're gonna create a new behavior. And if we go down the bottom of our behaviors, you'll see custom. We'll click on that. And we'll click on trigger and make it when the scene starts. So what we wanna do here is we wanna hit an action where the outline actually hides. So we wanna select the outline not the stars, there's the outline. We want to press done and we want it to slightly hide. See how it kind of disappears there? Maybe over six or seven or eight seconds. So we want it to actually hide um, the outline and then we're going to do a show action for the next one. So when I press play at the top, you'll see that as it plays, it gradually disappears, but still shows those key star cluster. So what we want to do is we could put a repeat on it, but that's not going to actually show it again. So when it disappears, we want to actually do one more sequential action where it reappears and then just repeats over and over again. So let's go back to our behaviors. We'll press stop down the bottom. We'll go to our behaviors. We can turn on our repeat, but we're going to hit our plus. Repeat back on and plus, and this time we're going to do a show. So we've done the hide and it takes us six or seven or eight, nine seconds to hide. Now we want it to show again and we can have a gradual and we can make that a similar kind of, um, a similar sort of time frame. So now when we press pl play, it will take that six or seven, eight seconds to disappear. Then I've got a show action 
where it reappears on the cluster itself. So gradually you can see here, it's going to reappear. So it gives me that impression that it's kind of flashing. So I can see the star cluster, but I can also see the border um, and the representation of the animal itself. Okay, which is, um, I think, super important there. So let's turn off our behaviors. That's basically it. So what we need to do, that's flashing beautifully. I'm really super impressed with that. So now we're going to go to our Padlet and I'll put this in the description of YouTube here. And we're going to go to the AR a UTB site. And that's where you'll find some really good tutorials in the first lane. But we're going to go right to the end. Right to the end. And we're going to grab the blank portal down here. So let's grab that 3D file. So we're going to click on it once. It'll try and open it. If I tap it again, it'll try and open it in AR. We don't really want to do that. We actually just want to tap on it. We can go up to object at the top and have a look at the 3D file, which is my portal with a beautiful, and we want to go to our share and save that portal to our files. And that, I might rename it. It's always good to rename it. We might call it uh, portal for my star cluster. And we'll press done. And that's going to save it to my files. So I press, press save one more time. And now I'm ready to bring it into Reality Composer. So let's go back to Reality Composer. We've got our star cluster and our animation. That's looking really good. Now we're going to go up to plus. We'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, if you, if you get a bit lost, go up to your frame scene so that you can find everything. We're going to go up to our plus and we're going to bring in that 3D portal. Uh, where are we? Oh, we've got all our behaviors working. That's all looking great. Yep, that's looking brilliant. Oh, by the way, you could add some narration, some music, some different actions there if you want. We're not going to do it in this tutorial, but you could definitely bring those if that's something that you would like to bring in. But let's go to a plus. Now to bring in a shape, we go to imported, which is right at the top. And then we find our portal 3D file. There it is there, portal for stars. Now, if you can't find it, it's always good to go back to browse, go to your, on your iPad, and then just filter all of your files at the top here by date. So if you feel like you can't find your file, just kind of um, press on the date and then you'll see probably that last one, either in recent or downloads. There it is there. We're going to tap on it once. There it is there. It's really small, but that's okay. We can adjust it. We're going to move it to the side. Let's move it by the red, drag the red cone or the red arrow. We're going to rotate it around. So we've got the entry so that you can walk into it, which is going to be super cool. And then we're going to go up to our properties and just make it really big. So I'm going to bring it up all the way. By the way, if it's not big enough by doing it all the way, you can change it from 1000% to 2000% or 1500% if you want to. But a um, thousand percent will work. And then I'm just going to drag, I'm going to drag my portal over my star cluster. So now I've got this beautiful portal with my star cluster inside it, ready to be finished off. How good is that? That's looking really, really good. So if I press play and I get a bit closer, students can walk into their AR and look what happens. It, it disappears and then it reappears. How good does that look? And I've got my star cluster. Once again, you can add some sound, student narration, uh, a soundscape, um, all sorts of cool stuff in there as well. Now, just a little bit of a tip from me. If you tap on somewhere blank on your screen, let's say here, you can get a little select all button. Let's see if I've done that. See, select all. And what you can do is move everything up and then tap off the blank again, and then tap on your portal and move things around a little bit. So if you want to kind of separate things, you can definitely group items if you want. You don't want to lose your animation though, but you can kind of play around with elevating things um, and doing a range of different things there as well, just to get your portal looking great. Hey, that's looking awesome. It's time now to share it. So we go up to our three dots, we go to export, and we can save it as a USDZ or a reality file. Either will work. And we press export. We save it to files. And this file can be airdropped or placed on your LMS or wherever you want to put it. And you don't need Reality Composer to open up the AR scene. You just need an iPad or an iPhone. Um, 
and Safari, basically, to open it up. So I'm going to press Done. I'll call it Family Cluster Final. There we go there. And now, if I go to my files, you'll see that you've got that beautiful USDZ or reality file ready to be opened. So if I go to my files, as soon as I tap on my USDZ file, that final one, this one on the left here, you can see the symbol's different. If I open that up in Quick Look or just tap on it, it will open up ready for augmented reality. I won't view it in AR. I'm going to view it just as an object so that you can see it because I'm doing this um, web kind of cast. And look at that. I've got all of my animation beautiful. I've got my, it goes off and then on again. And if I've got some narration or a soundscape in there as well, it's going to be so good. Interactive portal with like an indigenous astronomy um, based on a family member that's passed. How good is that? Really authentic, personalized learning. We love that. Hey, let's go back to our Padlet, which I will put the address of that in the YouTube underneath it here. And the first column, if you had a bit of trouble today with Reality Composer, go to the basics of Reality Composer. Super easy to follow and we'll get you set up. Paul Hamilton here from UTB.